We're ready to go. So welcome to Wednesday Wise Guys at the Sewing Basket in Plymouth, Wisconsin. I'm Elaine and my partner Cheryl is up waiting on customers today. So our project for the day, we're going to talk about aprons. Really quick, easy way to make an apron. However, first I'm going to tease you with some beautiful new fabric that came in. We got some new batiks today in beautiful kind of purple and blues. And there's a whole bunch of those. And they are just lovely. And oh, by the way, they would make a beautiful apron as well. And Carrie's my camera woman today. You doing okay? Can see everything? I think so. All right. And turquoise and purple, how can you go wrong with that? And a lovely just blue swirl. And those are all by Island Batik. They do such a lovely job. We're going to just set those out of the way for a minute. And we're going to get started talking about aprons. Um, when we first did this apron pattern, we did it one simple way. And then we added a couple options to it. I'm going to talk about the basic one. The options are easy to change um, and figure out on your own. Or you can purchase our pattern. Our pattern is available on our website, sewingbasket.biz. Click on the shop button and there's a little magnifying glass up in the right. You can just type in apron or you can just go to the pattern area or downloadable pattern. The pattern cover looks like this. You'll see Carrie's smiling face on there. It is just called aprons. Got that all right. And the pattern is $7.99 here in the store if you buy it online. If you download it, it's $5.99 and you get it right away. So that's the pattern we're going to be working with. And I'm going to just show you a couple. This on the mannequin is the three-piece apron, three different fabrics, and it's got the long tie to it. It just ties behind your head. I normally tie it, leave it tied, and just pull it off and on my head. And then the straps wrap around and tie. This is the flat version of that same apron. And then this is the one-piece apron. This is the one we're going to be making today. Obviously, this is just three pieces of fabric instead of one. Um, the pattern comes in sizes from child up to, I believe, I'm going to double check because now I don't remember, child up to an adult extra large. And um, we kind of laughed about it and said, when I made the first kids one, it was like this big. And we said, yeah, it doesn't fit a real cook. Mm -hmm. So we went up from there and added a variety of sizes. Um, so this is the extra large, so it will definitely fit a good sized cook without having to worry about not having the apron big enough. And um, it is four different sizes. Again, this is the three, three piece apron. And then the back is all one piece and actually it is reversible as well. So it's a nice easy way to do an apron. So I'm going to make just the standard size right now. And I'm starting with just one yard of fabric. Okay, and watch because this is quick. It is not hard to do. And um, this demo is not going to take real long. So pay attention. One yard of fabric. I've got my salvages on the side. And all I'm doing is folding it together. That's making this about 22, 21, 22 inches wide. And I'm going to just line that up. And that makes it 42 inches long or excuse me, 36, I'm cutting this way. This way is 42, folded in half gives me 21, and it's about 36 long, which comes down to my knees. If I want it shorter, I can cut it shorter. But all I'm gonna do is put it just like this, and I'm gonna sew around all three sides. Across here, down the side, and across the bottom. So yes, I end up with a completely closed square, all right? And you're going to see a variety of aprons, but we're pretending they're all the same. Mm -hmm. So here it is. And I've sewn around all three sides, and the fourth side is the fold. So from there, I take my handy dandy water soluble so. marker. And I just realized that my ruler's not here. Give me 12 seconds. I'll be right back. Count. <laughs> I, uh, a ruler. Actually, I need a cutting mat. I need a cutting mat, but here I am. I'm back. I was just trying to make the demo seem longer. And the other thing I realized, I was all set to do this upstairs, 
and we had a number of customers walk in. It got real loud upstairs, so we came down here at the very last minute. Um, so anyway, I've sewn around all my sides, and then I'm going to mark my center. I'm measuring just from my seam line to my fold, and I'm going to take my blue water soluble pen and mark my center line. And on this size, on the pattern, it tells me to measure four inches on each side. That's how wide the ap top of the apron is going to be, and it's a different size for kids versus adults versus different sizes. So all I'm going to do is take that and I'm going to measure four inches and mark a blue line and four inches and mark a blue line. And then my pattern will also tell me how far down to measure. And on this size it's 14 inches. So I'm measuring from my stitch line to 14 inches. And on this side from my stitch line to 14 inches. And then if I were on a cutting mat, I would just cut this right now. I'm going to run my ruler from my blue line to my blue line. And that's where my stitch line intersects my blue line. So I'm going stitch line to stitch line. If I had a mat under here, I would just cut that off. I'm going to just draw a line because I don't have a cutting mat right here. And so what that's going to do is cut right there. And on this side, I'm going to do the same thing, use my cutter. And so I'm going to end up with a piece that looks like this. The sides are sewn, the top is sewn, this hole is now open. And miraculously, I already have that sewn. And actually, you know what? I am going to just take a scissors and cut this because it's going to be easier to show you. We're going to pretend that I cut that with my rotary cutter. You can use your scissors, it's just quicker to use a rotary cutter. We can improvise because we're sewers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's my apron. And you wondered how I turned it right side out. I reach through this hole and I go in and fold that edge under, grab my corner, pull that out, grab my other corner. And all I'm doing is turning it right side out through the hole. Very difficult. You followed along so far how hard this is? Okay, and I'm going to pull that out. On this one we used a really cute striped fabric. And this one is the large size. This one takes a yard and a half. And so here we go. So there's my apron pretty much ready to go. Plain and simple. Makes sense to everybody? I'm going to go and I'm going to press that really nice all the way around. And then I'm going to grab the smaller one because it's easier to see on camera. So this one was done with a double-sided border print. This had a border print at this side and a border print at this side, and it's for a little bit smaller person, so I cut some of that border off. Okay, So this piece was probably 18 inches by, I'm guessing, 30, 32 maybe. Again, both sides together, sew around the whole thing, chop off those um, angles, and I'm ready to go. Then comes the really difficult part. I make my ties. I cut a two inch strip. I fold it in half. Can you see that okay, Carrie? Is uh -huh. it better if I lay it down flat or is this all no, right? No, no, I think that's okay. good. Fold it in half all the way down and then I open it up and I press half into the center and then this half into the center and then I fold the whole thing in half. So I have a wide piece pressed in half one time. That gives me my center mark. I fold my raw edge to the center line and press, and this raw edge to the center line and press, and then I fold it in half. And so this makes what looks like a little clamp. And when you make a big long one, it looks like this. And all this is is two inch strips sewn together. This is two widths of fabric. Okay. And so this is folded in half, and again, it's not sewn yet, it's just pressed really well. And each side gets a piece like this. So I leave about 18 inches to the top, and then I grab my pins, and what I'm doing is opening this up, and 
the raw edge is going to go inside here, so it's going to kind of clamp over the edge. So I'm going to measure this carefully to 18 inches, and I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to set that raw edge right inside. Do you like the way I picked flaming pink so you could see it? A and question just came up. Yes, ma'am? A question came up about copyright, mm -hmm. and that uh, I didn't see the whole question, but I, I believe it was something to the effect of if somebody bought a pattern, can they make aprons for sale? For sale? Yes, we will let you do that. This is a sewing basket pattern, so it is our choice to do that. Thank you very much for asking because it is the designer's choice. Yes, you may purchase this pattern and you may make them to sell. And I will say it's a lovely product to make to sell because they are so quick. Mm -hmm. Another person loved the border print you used. And we do still have that in stock. And it has a cute little scallop at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That same scallop was at the top. So on a taller person, I could have had the scallop across the top too. But because this was for a little shorter person, I chopped it off. So here I am. Can you see that's just pinned there? And now I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm going to go out all the way to the end. And I'm going to stitch. This is my, can you see that OK, Carrie? Mm -hmm. This is my open side. I'm going to go to my sewing machine. And I'm going to stitch the open side all the way down. And when I get to here, can you see that? I'm going to keep stitching. And that's what's holding the strap onto the apron. So when I get to this point, I come on, I do a little extra back and forth, sew across, and a little back and forth. That back and forth stitching reinforces so the ties don't pull off. And then I keep sewing all the way down, keeping it folded, sew all the way down. And then a little back and forth at the end. And then I just tie a knot at the end. I just like the way that looks and it keeps them from coming out. I just tie a little knot and I can trim that off. And then I go back to my start and I tie a little knot up here. And then I repeat the exact same thing on the other side. And so that's what the side of my apron looks like. So this ties behind my head. This comes around the side. And then my tie is long enough We'll see if I can do this, that it wraps around and it ties in front. On the larger aprons, you use more than two strips. You use two strips on each side. Um, you can make them any size you want. Like I said, the pattern shows four different sizes. Um, you can change this. Um, the little kid's apron you can actually do from a fat quarter. It makes just a darling little miniature apron. Um, really cute for the holidays, for baking, all of that kind of stuff. So that is plain and simple. This was the very first one that we did. This one I used a four inch, and I'm gonna pull it up here. I used a four inch strip, um, and it made the ties wider, and it made this binding a little wider. On this fabric, I liked that because you can see it's olives. This fabric was all um, kind of olive oil and olives, and I liked the olive print that I used. So I chose to make my straps twice as wide. Obviously, I had to buy a little bit more fabric. But you see the contrast a little bit more. And I'm going to pull the pins out of here. And this one, I used um, a strip and a half. So I used three strips, cut it in half. I have a strip and a half on each side. And for me, mess up my beautiful hair. <laughs> sure. Take out this extra pin. And this one is made to tie in the back. The straps are not long enough to wrap around to the front. So you can tie it this one in back or make the straps longer and do that wrap. I told you it was going to be fast. What was that? 14 minutes? Something like that. That truly is how fast you can make an apron. So again, you're going to take that one yard of fabric or however big size you want. You're going to sew around. You've got a fold on one side. Sew around the other sides. You're going to mark your center for how, and then mark your, your neckline, how wide that is. You're going to measure down. You're going to cut off those two triangles. You're going to flip it right side out. And you're going to add your simple little clamp-on ties. Plain and simple. The magic is in the sizing. And that's not all that hard. You can figure it out. But again, 
the pattern is on sewingbasket.biz, B-I-Z, which is our website. Click on the shop page and you can click downloadable. It's there for $5.99 or you can have us mail it to you for $7.99 plus shipping or you can just stop in the shop and pick it up. The other thing we do have, there's a couple on the website and a few more in the shop. We did do some kits. So this kit is the Badger Apron. The kits are $17.99. They don't include the pattern. Usually we include a pattern in a kit, but this is the kind of thing where you only need the apron pattern once, but you might make a lot of aprons. So we've got the Badger kit, and then I have this cute little modern tomato fabric with a teal. And this is this one with the, um, the butcher market and the check. Again, those are $17.99. You can obviously pick whatever fabric you want. I do have more of this and this cute little stripe that I used as my in the midst sample. We do have this on the bolt as well. So don't be afraid to play with the fabrics you've got. It's fun. It's easy. Those new batiks would make a lovely, lovely apron. And I think that's all I have. We are not doing an, a live tonight. We've done lives the last two Wednesdays. We're going to do those about probably once a month or so. And we'll let you know via email and Facebook posts when we do that next. Anybody who didn't catch the lives over the last two weeks, you can still access and view all of that product. If you have a piece of paper, scramble, scramble, sewingbasket.commentsold.com slash store. That is everything that has been in the last two Facebook Lives. All the product that is still available is still there. If it was on sale, it's still on sale. So again, that's sewingbasket.commentsold.com slash store. And you can see anything you want there. Other than that, we look forward to you visiting us. And thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.